The overall goal of this cancer cell spheroid invasion assay is to allow for the monitoring of cancer cell invasion out of a cellular bolus and into a surrounding three-dimensional matrix. This method can help answer key questions in cancer biology, like the identification of conditions that promote or inhibit cell invasion. The main advantage of this technique is that the various nuances of how cells invade can be evaluated under a more physiologically relevant setting in vitro. To begin, remove a culture dish containing adherent cancer cells from the incubator. Wash the cells once with PBS and add 1.5 milliliters of 0.05% trypsin EDTA. Then incubate the cells for 3 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Once the cells have detached, pass the trypsinized cells through a 5 milliliter pipette to generate a single cell suspension and then add 8.5 milliliters of cell culture media to the flask. Count the cell suspension using a cell counter. Dilute the cell suspension to 500 to 1000 cells per 20 microliters in culture medium. Use a multi-channel pipette to form 20 microliter droplets on the inner surface of a 10 centimeter dish lid. In all, Pipe had 5 rows of 8 drops for a total of 40 drops. Next, pipe had 5 milliliters of sterile PBS into the bottom of the 10 cm dish. Carefully invert the lid and place it on the 10 cm dish. Then incubate the hanging drop cultures at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide for up to 72 hours to form spheroids. <laughs> 